Hello everyone, for today's video, we will be making kombucha. What is kombucha you may ask? Well, it's a fizzy fermented drink typically made with either green or black tea. Though it's sometimes referred to as kombucha mushroom tea, it is not made out of or with fungi. Zero. The mushroom in question is actually called scooby. It is a symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast and it actually feels like you're touching a placenta. Well, when kombucha is made into sweet tea and fermented, it creates healthful bacteria and vitamin Bs. Due to this, kombucha is labelled as a functional non-alcoholic beverages and it benefits our health. Now, since we already give the gist of what kombucha is, let's start the making process. First and foremost, right, kombucha can be made up of many different types of ingredients like for example, chrysomanium, butterfly pea, green tea, rose leaf and many more. But today for our kombucha making tutorial, we'll be using rose leaf. What is rose leaf? Rose leaf is actually a species of flowering plants in the genes of hibiscus and is recognized for its diverse pharmacological properties, including antihypertensive, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and many more. We will now be talking about the ingredients that we are going to use. Number one would be a pot of water, a medium-sized bowl of sugar, but it can be up to you depending how sweet you want your kombucha to be, an apple or lemon, roselles, and most importantly, the scoby. Now, the first step into making this kombucha is to boil some water and after the water has turned into a boil, pour it in a big jug like what we have but make sure to let an adult or someone older than you to do this if you're a kid. Don't want you burning yourself. Second, while the water is still hot, get your roselle and put a bowl of it into the jug. There should be about 20 to 30 roselles in the bowl. Not long after, it's time to put your sugar in. Today, we're going to use a medium-sized bowl of sugar because we're making quite a big batch. After this, grab your stirrer or ladder to stir the mixture till you can see the color of the water changes into a reddish pink color and all the sugar has dissolved. After it is stirred thoroughly, let the water cool down first. After that, we can now put in the scooby. Get one piece of the scooby and put it in the mixture and make sure to cover your jug air tightly. Now this is the first part of making the process and we will have to wait for about 10 to 14 days for the kombucha to ferment. Next, your kombucha should look like this. Now as you can see, since the scoby has these components and it was fermented, there is actually some scoby growing inside the kombucha. But we sadly have to take it out of the jug now and put it aside. Subsequently, we now have to pour out the water into a big bowl and make sure to prepare a sieve to catch any results that try to come out. Because we only want the water. After that, get a cup or anything to scoop your kombucha into glass bottles. Make sure to also use a funnel when pouring so no kombucha is wasted. But Make sure to not pour the water all the way because we still need to add the apple slices and lemon into it. Now, you can put the apple and lemon into thinly sliced pieces and put about 3 to 5 slices of apple into each bottle and 2 to 3 slices of lemon inside too. After this, pour the kombucha substance all the way to the top of the bottle and close it and put it in the fridge to refrigerate. All of this is just the first stage of fermentation. Now we have to wait for about 4 or more days, depending if you want it to have alcohol produced inside of it. Typically, the level of alcohol is 0.5% only. If you want it, then you have to let it ferment for about a week minimum. If you, want, if you don't want it, then I suggest you only let it ferment for about 4 days minimum. After the 4 days, take the bottle of your choice out of the fridge and now it's time to taste test. Cheers! Roselle kombucha has a tasty and tangy flavour and it can be fizzy too. It's a perfect drink alternative if you want a healthier soda since it can help with your digestive system and it's even good for your health. Now we have reached the end of the video. Thank you for your time and hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye!